Interesting facts about World White Cane Safety Day, 15th October. White colored canes with red stripes were first suggested by George A. Bonham when he witnessed a man trying to cross a street with his black cane and motorists were unable to notice it. As per TSA, you can take your white cane on your flight travel and it must pass through the X-ray machine. Today, high-tech canes are being designed with ultrasonic devices that can detect obstacles up to 9 feet away and give vibrations to the cane user to warn off potential hazards in their paths. Only 2% to 8% of the visually challenged people use a white cane while the rest depend on their usable vision, sighted guide or a guide dog. White canes come in three types, a standard mobility cane to navigate, a support cane for navigation and mobility and foldable ID cane are used by people with partial sight. To become a certified ONM specialist for the visually challenged, it is mandatory to spend a minimum of 120 hours navigating with a white cane blindfolded. Today, white canes weigh as light as 7 ounces and are usually made from carbon fibers, fiberglass or aluminium. The Braille Institute hosts an annual cane quest for children aged between 3 and 12 to encourage them to become independent by mastering the right white cane techniques. It's illegal in some states to use a white cane to achieve right of way while crossing a street if you are legally not visually impaired. <laughs>